I filtered this spreadsheet for eighth graders who are absent in December. And let's say I want to make this into a separate spreadsheet. So I've got a separate spreadsheet just for eighth graders who were absent in December. I go to the upper left-hand corner. I'm going to click on the cell that has the little triangle in it, and that selects everything in this spreadsheet. Or I should call it a worksheet. It's a worksheet. So I've selected everything in this worksheet. I go to anywhere in the worksheet, right-click, left-click, copy. Now I go down to the bottom. I'm going to click Insert Worksheet. And I've got a new blank worksheet. I'm going to right click. I want to make sure I right click in cell A1. So I right click on cell A1 and I've got different paste options and I just want to do the basic paste, the very first paste option. And I'll have to wait a little bit. And it says this operation you are about to perform affects a large number of cells and may take a significant amount of time to complete are you sure you want to continue? I click OK. It says Excel cannot complete the task with available resources, choose less data, or close other applications. I'm just going to click OK and keep going. And now I want to click on this little triangle again to select all the cells. I want to put my mouse pointer on the border between column A and col column B and stretch it out just so I can see the data in every column. And now I can select just one column to make it smaller and I could do that for the rest of the columns. So now I've got this separate worksheet that is just 8th graders who are absent in December. And I'm going to go down to where it says Sheet 2 because this sheet is named Sheet 2 right now. I'm going to right click, left click rename. I'm going to call it eighth absences. Excuse me. December. So now this worksheet is called eighth absences December. I can go back to my original worksheet named attendance history. And right now this looks just like my 8th Absences December worksheet. But if I go up and click on Filter again, I turn off the filters, so I go back to my original worksheet.